Some new stories about ongoing developments in Ethiopia and Eritrea. Firstly, China is planning to hold a summit uh, on the Horn of Africa. Uh, in this connection, today, Chinese special envoy to the Horn of Africa visited Eritrea. He met with Isaias Ehwerki, Eritrean president. Secondly, viewers, uh, we have a new story from Frankfurt, Germany, where a demonstration has been held in support of Fano. Fano has considerable support uh, in Amhara diaspora. Thirdly, viewers, it seems that PM Abi wants to curtail Amhara influence on Prosperity Party. Today, new chairman and vice chairman of the party were elected. We know that party had one chairman and one vice chairman. Uh, chairman was PM Abi, vice chairman was Demake Mekon from Amara, Amara region. Now we have two chairmen who were elected today. Why is that a new vice chairman has been added? Does PMRB want to curtail Amhara influence on Prosperity Party? And lastly, viewers, uh, Bharti Urugasa is spokesperson of Oromo Liberation Front. In a previous video, I reported about his illness, that uh, he is critically ill. He's in prison, like other OLF leaders. We have some pictures of Bhati or Gasa for you, which show that man is critically ill. Firstly, viewers, uh, China appointed a special envoy for the Horn of Africa a few weeks ago. US has also appointed a special envoy for, for the Horn of Africa. Uh, US first appointed uh, Jeffrey Feltman, then David Saterfield replaced uh, Jeffrey Feltman a few weeks ago. And after that, uh, almost a month ago, China announced to appoint a special envoy for the Horn of Africa. His name is Zui Bing. Now China is planning to hold a summit about uh, peace and stability and uh, other issues in the Horn of Africa. In this connection today, uh, Zui Bing, uh, Chinese special envoy, visited Eritrea. He met with Isaias Ehwerki, Eritrean president, and uh, uh, China says that Eritrea has a key role to play when it comes to peace and stability in the Horn of Africa. Yes, we cannot deny that. Whether we agree with uh, Eritrean government's policies or not, but Eritrean role in the Horn of Africa is a key role uh, because Eritrea has been involved in Ethiopia, in Djibouti, uh, in, in, in Somalia as well. So if you want to devise uh, a strategy for peace, stability, economic progress in the Horn of Africa, definitely you cannot sideline Eritrea. And China has close ties with Eritrea. We know that Chinese Foreign Minister uh, started uh, this year's uh, foreign uh, tours from Eritrea. Eritrea was the first African country this year where Chinese uh, Foreign Minister paid a visit. And China has huge uh, interests in the Horn of Africa. It has investments here. Uh, it wants to have its uh, presence uh, in terms of uh, its uh, projects. And we could see Chinese military presence as well in the Horn of Africa in coming days. So let's see. We'll update you once this summit, Horn of Africa summit by China is organized. Secondly, viewers, uh, Fano has huge support among Ethiopian diaspora, especially Amhara diaspora. Uh, a protest has been carried out in support of Fano in Frankfurt, Germany. We know that Fano has been under pressure. One of Fano's uh, coordinators was killed in Mota town of Amhara region a few days ago. Amhara regional government, Ethiopian federal government, they, some sections of Amhara regional government, 
the federal government they want to disarm fano it's very much clear now fano is resisting and some politicians some groups in our region they are also resisting the disarming of, of fano that is why fano supporters uh, abroad in uh, amhara they are raising their voices in support of fano and fano could come under more pressure in coming days if fano's presence is established uh, in uh, the incident in which uh, some uh, humans were set on fire by government officials government security officials in in shangal gum region of ethiopia i did two videos on that uh, in the past 24 hours tigray leader gatashoda is openly accusing fano that fano was part of uh, that group let's see if fano's presence is established in bg's incident it could lead to more pressure upon fano that is why perhaps we are seeing protests in support of fano watch this video clip it's from frankfurt germany where people protested in support of amhara's in support of afars they chanted slogans in support of fano against tplf Uh, and against tplf's attack on afar as well watch this clip from frankfurt germany it seems that pm abi ahmed wants to curtail the influence of amhara politicians amhara region on prosperity party we know that prosperity party's uh, congress is underway new party chairman vice chairman were elected today pm abi retained his position as party chairman there was one vice chairman previously damake mekonan from amara region now there are two vice president one is damake mekonan and the other is adan fara adan fara is former speaker of ethiopian upper house house of federation he was elected as vice president today. so now pp has two vice presidents damake from amara region and adan fara is from somali region of ethiopia around 1600 uh, members of the party voted today 28 <clears throat> abstained sorry and 69 votes were invalid and majority of the voters they selected the elected pm abi as chairman and two vice chairman Adan Fara and Damake were elected. Now, why is there need of an other vice president? There is uh, appreciation uh, for this move in Somali region. People say that now Somali region has representation at a high level, that uh, its uh, politician will be representing the region as vice president of the party. So, people are. uh loading this move in somali region but in amara region the sentiments are different uh, it is being said that the macke mekonan is being sidelined why is that uh why was the need f- f- for a new vice president if pm abi can retain his position why not the macke mekonan as well so 
it seems that pm abi wants to curtail amhara influence on prosperity party some amhara hardliner groups are already complaining that pm abi uh, is working allegedly working uh, for the agenda of romo politicians and he and his government want to weaken amhara politics amhara region uh, and uh, now this move will lead to more pressure upon amhara prosperity party leaders amhara prosperity party is already under pressure we have seen a financial scandal hit the party there have been uh, reports about splits in the party uh, some grouping in the party two groups the mac and mcconnell group and gado and the gacho group now this move will further weaken amhara prosperity party we could see further fissure in the party after this move lastly viewers in a previous video i reported about uh, olf prisoners oromo liberation front prisoners that one of them uh, was critically ill bati urgasa is the spokesperson of oromo liberation front he's been in prison for months like uh, jal abdiragasa like uh, gamacho aboy and others uh, uh, daud ipsa head is also under house arrest uh, we learned from some sources that uh, bati urgasa was critically ill i shared that in a video now it has been confirmed viewers today we saw some pictures which indicate that bati urgasa is critically ill uh, have a look at these pictures of bati urgasa reportedly he has been shifted to a hospital where he is uh, receiving medical care no signs of the release of olf leaders so far though we have been hearing rumors that olf leaders could be released in coming days there were rumors about daud ipsa we saw a letter from uh, national election board of ethiopia calling upon uh, ethiopian federal police commission and ethiopian intelligence agency uh, to uh, put an end to house arrest of uh, daud ipsa but so far daud ipsa has not been allowed to uh, be released he is still under house arrest other over the freedoms they are also in prison i think for you